Uh, with these type of searches, YouTube started suggesting atheist channels. At first, I would just pass over them as if they couldn't offer me any answers. But then slowly, I would, you know, watch one or two, maybe one of those that would refute cults and, you know, other Christian denominations or religions. But I would simply avoid any refuting or even bringing up the witnesses, especially Telltale. Sorry, bro. So I remember watching a whole lot of uh, Professor Stick at first, and then I moved to Cosmic Skeptic and then Genetically Modified Skeptic. I watched through every single one of these videos until I reached a point where I only had a few on the JWs to watch, and it was probably one of GME's last videos on them actually. So I did, and this is where it all started. From there I found Heath and Telltale, Godless Cranium and Godless Engineer, John Cedars, and a whole lot more. I figure this isn't the normal way of asking such a thing, but I also wanted this video to serve as a symbol to each of you mentioned that what you're doing does make a difference. Your efforts are reaching people, even the most stubborn smart asses like myself. Before we get started, I just want to let you all know that YouTube has admitted that they aren't letting all subscribers know when creators they subscribe to have uploaded a new video. The only way to make sure you don't miss out on a notification is to click the bell icon on my page. So if you haven't done so already, please click the bell so you don't miss any new content. Let's jump into the video. أنا ملحد فأنا مش بصدق في وجود ربنا أو بصدق في دين بس ده ده الإلحاد أنا مش محتاج الدين عشان أنا يبقى عندي أخلاق أو أن أنا أبقى نافع في المجتمع Now, keep in mind that as far as I know, this guy, Mohamed Hashem, was invited onto this show to debate the other man you saw in this clip. Yet the former deputy sheik is acting as if he either doesn't understand or can't believe that Mr. Hashem is an atheist. بقيت ليه مولح؟ علشان مفيش أي أي دليل على 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 وجود ربنا أي دليل علمي مفيش أي إزاي مفيش إزاي مفيش دليل على وجود ربنا أنت بتكلم إزاي يعني مفيش وجود مفيش دليل على وجود ربنا مين اللي وجدك أنت إن أنت تكون موجود هنا كإنسان أو كمن آدم So instead of providing scientific evidence for the existence of their god, the TV host decides to berate his guest. He's not even going to let the debate partner answer the challenge. Instead, he's going to start yelling at his guest himself. And what he's saying is absolute rubbish. How can you say that? Easily, especially since no theist can manage to provide any peer-reviewed scientific evidence for their particular god. When confronted with this fact, your reaction is to attack using completely nonsensical arguments instead of calmly answering his question. Who created you? Your parents. We've known how reproduction works for some time now. <laughs> ماشي هقول لحضرتك في فرضيات كتير بتفسر ان وجودنا هنا على الكوكب ده وفي فرضيات كتير بتفسر انا بس انت بقيت بني ادم ما ترد انت بقيت بني ادم ازاي؟ انت موجود ازاي في الكون ده؟ تمام طيب هقول لحضرتك في فرضيات بتحاول تفسر وجودنا تمام منها فرضيه ان ربنا خلقنا خلاص في فرضيات بقى تانية عليها ادله اكتر كتير زي مثلا I don't think God did it is a theory unless you're talking about the everyday use of the word but the Big Bang is a scientific theory backed up by a lot of good evidence. I understand why Mr. Hashem calls it a theory. He looks uncomfortable and he's being confronted by two very hostile men. This interview also takes place in Egypt where they're considering making atheism illegal. I shit you not. Quote, lawmakers in Egypt are seriously considering passing a law that would make atheism illegal. Blasphemy is already illegal in Egypt, and people are frequently arrested for insulting or defaming religion under the country's strict laws. The newly proposed rule would make it illegal for people not to believe in God, even if they don't talk about it. The phenomenon of atheism is being promoted in society as freedom of belief, when this is totally wrong, head of Egypt's Parliament Committee on Religion said, when he introduced the bill in late December. Atheism must be criminalized and categorized as contempt of religion because atheists have no doctrine and try to insult the Abrahamic religions, he wrote in the local daily paper. End quote. So as you can see, Mr. Hashim is taking a very big risk doing this debate. Or mockery of a debate anyway. <laughs> Don't use big words. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. Wow, I really feel sorry for this guy. And look how composed he is compared to the host. He's calmly trying to make his point while being badgered and yelled at by the host. What a sham. Any, 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 any
انت عندك حاله من الارتباك حاله من عدم الثقه بتتكلم ان انت بتنكر الاله بتنكر ربنا بتنكر الدين بتنكر كل الثوابت طب انت ايه سؤال صغير ليه دي حاجه وحشه Yeah, he's the one who is confused, even though you're the one shouting questions at your guest without allowing him to answer them. But he's the confused and unreliable one. I love how he asks, is this so bad? When the host accuses him of rejecting their religion and principles. Of course, it's not a bad thing. These two belong to an ancient, superstitious belief system that can't defend itself from criticism. Instead, the religious try to shut people like Mr. Hashem up by instituting blasphemy laws or by shunning them in public. Their religion, just like Christianity and Judaism, don't have a leg to stand on and the host knows it he's afraid he's afraid of the ideas and evidence that mr hashim can bring to the table he has no wish to hear him out watch لا طبعا حاجه وحشه انا انا فعلا بص اقول لك حاجه انت جاي بتتكلم في فكرك انت ما عندكش فكر انت عندك الحاد عندك كفر ما ينفعش ان انا نخلي ده انا انا بااسف جدا وبتاسف لمشاهديني ان يكون معايا شاب مصري بهذه الصفات انا اسف فعلا ان يكون معايا محمد انا مش هقدر اكمل معاك ولا تبقى موجود معانا في الحلقه للاسف لان فكرك لا يتناسب ما ينفعش ان احنا نروج لافكار افكار اصلا هدامه انت ما قلتش ولا كلمه Yes, the idea that your primitive ancestors might have been wrong about there being an immaterial, all-powerful, all-knowing, invisible deity is a dangerous idea. Far more dangerous than the idea that anyone who disagrees with the religion must be suffering from a mental illness. I'm sure you and the Sheikh are qualified to diagnose people. What a farce. This part makes me feel a bit of hope because he says many young people today suffer from mental illness. And I wonder if he's saying that because a large enough proportion of the youth in Egypt doubt the religion that it scares them. That might be why they're trying to institute new laws against atheism as well. They know the religion can't stand up to scrutiny, so they have to shut down the conversation. تكشف عن نفسك انت ما ينفعش تكون موجود للاسف مش هقدر اكمل معاك ولا هتبقى موجود معانا في الحلقه انا بستاذنك ان انت تفضل تقوم وانا اكمل حلقتي مع الدكتور محمود لان للاسف افكارك هدامه وضيع الشباب المصري وللاسف انت مثال سيء جدا للشباب المصري هنطلع لفاصل يا جماعه وهنضيفنا هيغادرنا وهكمل مع الدكتور محمود وانا اسف مر... and that's the truth you're not being allowed to present your ideas because they're afraid of you It's disgusting and cowardly behavior. If you're looking for snowflakes, you need to look no farther than religious fundamentalists like these two. These are the original snowflakes, and they would see people like Mr. Hashem shut up, thrown in prison or a psychiatric ward, because they're too cowardly to face his ideas head on. These are small men. They want to posture and act like they're the righteous ones, but they're nothing more than craven peddlers for a god that doesn't exist and can't defend itself. مرة تانية المشاهدين لا أنا آسف جدا ومرة تانية إن يكون معايا مثل هذا الشخص أنا آسف وبتأسف تاني الجمهوري إن أنا أنا جايب شاب مصري جايب يتكلم في أفكار للأسف ما عندوش أي حاجة مقنعة وما عندوش أي حاجة ممكن يقدمها وده مثال سيء للشباب المصري وهم مش كتير للأسف يا محمد أنت ما ينفعش تكون موجود ونصيحتي إنها تطلع لمستشفى الأمراض العقلية You should apologize to your viewers but not for having Mr. Hashim on your show but for treating him disrespectfully You should apologize to your viewers for acting like a coward and not allowing your guests to present his ideas. Anyhow, that's all I have for you. Thanks to Perrin for the Fedora Avatar. I love it. Take care and cheers.